Codemeisters, it's Prof G with a quick update. Now I know many faculty are using my lessons in their own courses and there are a lot of independent learners out there. I'm back from a year long sabbatical where I was teaching at the University of Technology at Sydney and doing some training at the request of Apple Australia. Now unfortunately during that time I haven't had a chance to update all of the content to the latest version of Xcode. Now I'm recording this on the day that I begin teaching my course at Boston College. Now as I record this, I'm using Xcode 16 with my class. It's currently in beta and it'll probably be released gold. My best guess is in late September. It usually comes along with the release of the new iPhones. And there is an install video for Xcode 16 that you can find at the top of the playlist. Now as far as my current content goes, most things remain exactly the same with Xcode 16. And that should be the case for the gold version, but there are some notable changes. Some statements have been deprecated and there are new recommended replacements, and sometimes the user interface has changed and it may be harder to find things. Now, for those of you that don't know, it takes a lot of time to create these high quality videos. Usually, at least for me, about two days of full time work. That's for creating or updating a single video that's less than a half an hour long. And well, I've got a full time job teaching iOS and physical computing at Boston College. That's my primary audience and they're the main reason why I create these videos, but everybody's welcome to them. I haven't been able to update all of the 100 plus video lessons yet, but I will. Now, until then, I've created an open access Google document that you can follow that offers information information at each point in each video where things have changed. It also offers some additional useful notes like the terms that you should use if others are being deprecated. Now you can find this document at this URL, bit.ly slash updating dash lessons dash four dash Xcode 16, all lowercase. Now I'll be updating that document as I go through the lessons this semester, but I'm also going to be recreating new lessons for the most noteworthy updates since the last time I taught this course. For example, Swift Data and Apple's new method for handling data is much easier than old mechanisms. So I'm going to be recreating a new app and lessons that are going to take the place of the old to-do list app, and you should expect that in the coming weeks. Also, I teach each Monday evening, so on Tuesday, I'm going to release the prior week's in-class notes and exercises on the course as a keynote slide deck in the open Google Drive that you can find at Gallagher.com. That's just my last name. Remember, there's a U in it.com. Feel free to check that out each week if you'd like, and faculty, you're welcome to use it with your own courses. Finally, if you're a faculty member teaching with my content, thank you. I want you to use my work. Now, unlike you might have heard from Mr. Beast, YouTube work for someone like me pays pennies on the dollar, literally. This is not a smart professional decision, but I'm old and I want to have a big impact in education. So I'm actually thrilled if you're using my content. That's what I want. Likes and subscribes really help me out by spreading the word. And faculty, you can also DM me with a mailing address if you want me to send you some stickers that you can give out as incentives to your students. I'll send them anywhere in the world for free. Individual learners, if you post a pic or short video online, I'm active on threads and Mastodon with the hashtag built with Prof G, I might select you for the weekly sticker drawing as well. Now, thanks to everybody. Keep on hacking and expect some great content for years to come.